Don't adjust your screen for this special 666th episode of Renegades of Puck. The broadcast has been commandeered by One Good Scare Productions, and they have sent myself, the maniacal minister of the occult, the devil you know, the original motherfucker, the reverend, to bring you greetings of Halloween joy. And here, at this glorious time of year where the veil is oh so thin, I can reveal secrets to you. Secrets about your captain that you might not know. You may think Captain Crazy Charlie is some sort of mild-mannered hockey guy, but I have insight into his past and know the darkness that lurks beneath the surface. There is a hidden man, a man that has done horrible things. Once again, virtual three on one, and it's on fire! It's on fire! Oh my God! Somebody put everybody out! White trash has been busted wide open by the Cole Twins. Oh no! and Tank are gunning for those wild side tag team titles. Oh Lord, White Trash hurls into section 201. It is breaking down here at the NCW Arena. White Trash being hurled into the wall here at the NCW Arena. And it's Tank and Rain Man in the ring. Tank goes charging into the boot of Rain Man. Oh, and Homicide just KOs White Trash in the head with a chair. I believe White Trash has nothing inside his head, so that's not much of a loss there. But the point is, the new Wild Side Tag Team Champions, and apparently they are, in fact, Blackout, a going to town on the challengers tonight. It's White Trash and Tank. Well, what you've missed, fans, since we were last on television, was a whole hell of a lot of action. Changing of titles, changing of the wild side tag team champions, not once but twice in Kingsport, Tennessee. Blackout won it first, but total destruction defeated them. Total destruction being banned from wild side are not the champions. Blackout off. And that son of a bitch, Dave Pinter, I, 
but I'm not going to touch on that right now. We have too many sons of bitches here in this company. This focus is on this Tag Team Championship match. Good Lord! Tank just put a chair in front of the head of Rain Man and punched the chair. White Trash and Tank, now known as Project Mayhem, really looking to get their shot here. Well, they are getting their shot at the Wild Side Tag Team Championships. However, the head of White Trash has been busted wide open, and I don't think that's a new hair dye. Trash is bleeding. Double one throwing the proverbial crimson mask. And White Trash just keep the skull cavity of homicide in. However, if anyone needs a mask here in Wildside, I think White Trash is first on the list. The White Trash and Tank have an opportunity to get those Wildside Tag Team titles. See, titles that seem to have been awarded just barely a few minutes ago. Although, at that point now, Blackout did in fact win them early on in the card in Kingsport, Tennessee. White Trash now with one half of the Tag Team title belt. And he's got a target. Rush Nails Homicide. But there are six chairs set in the ring, and Havoc is taking the body of White Trash. The usual suspects power bombing. They're gonna, they're gonna power bomb White Trash on a steel casket. On six chairs. If White Trash ain't dead, he's damn close. White Trash may be one of the toughest son of a bitches I've ever had the pleasure of working with. Well, he was. Oh, 
Oh, he's, he's beyond, a bloody mess. He's beyond the mess. I mean, he's playing like a stuck hog. Well, he's got a pizza tray. Anything goes in this match. How about that bottle cap baseball bat? Ugh. A bottle cap baseball bat? Oh, can you imagine the jagged edges on that thing? Well, I'm sure that Rain Man might be uh, figuring it out. Oh man, Ray Trish is bleeding the friggin' bucket! He's bleeding the friggin' bucket! He looks like a Jeffrey Doomer victim! Very picturesque display there, Dan! With the American Red Cross people handy to take care of white trash. We got some donations here. Homicide whips shoulder first into the guardrail. Big super kick in the ring, Jungle's tank. Oh man, white trash is a bloody mess. This is four quarters of pain. And Tank is going into the northwest corner of the ring, grabbing a bag of something. It's the Halloween fun bag. The Halloween fun bag full of jolly treats for all the children. Jolly treats? Spare me this jolly treat. It's a pumpkin. How can it be not jolly? In this match, it ain't jolly. It's, it's thumbtacks. A bag full of... The, oh, but they're all pretty colors. So they're kind of jolly, isn't it? There, then? Happy Halloween. Oh, oh, oh. What oh, oh, holiday. And now Tank is going for his bag. That special blue bag that he brings to them wherever he goes. No idea what's in it. Oh, God! Tank gets powerbombed into the thumbtacks. And a kick. Homicide is a rabid animal. If this guy doesn't have cadavers buried under his basement, oh my goodness, it's a horror show. White Trash having a hard time standing because of the blood loss. I'm sure he's down at least two points at this stage. White Trash, he is just... He's out of it. He doesn't know where he's at. But this is the four corners of paint. Is that a hammer? Oh, it's a Jordan tool. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, with three pros on the left. This is Fright Night 2001. Your main event. It doesn't get any sicker than this. Four corners of pain, and that's the only thing that can settle this rivalry. Blackout has tried everything in their power to absolutely kill White Trash and Tank. Trash took the ride, the dirt nap, through the six steel chair, the steel casket, and he lived to tell about it. Tank was almost dragged down the interstate for the bag of an SUV. There is Rafine here. And Trash and Tank are unlikely candidates to be challenging for a tag team title. But by God, tonight, it's personal. It's rare. I'm sure there are a lot of people in the National Wrestling Alliance appalled that White Trash and Tank are even involved in a wild side tag team title match, particularly one of this kind of caliber. My God, there's Tank and a chair, and it meets the face. Well, new NWA president Jim Miller is probably uh, He's probably excrementing his trousers here in this match. Nope. And for good reason. This is what Wild Side's about. Take it or leave it. You don't want to part of your damn group? Kiss our ass. We never liked Miller time anyway. Oh my goodness. Thumbtacks, barbed wire, a Gordon tool, steel chair. And there's one pull without an object. Take it off of it. And it's the mysterious contents of that bag. Blackout it. Oh my goodness. Bugs, the most violent tag team in wrestling, and that is the straight up truth. That barbed wire bat is stuck on the trousers of White Trash. Oh no. Rain Man's going to the back. Are we going to finally find out what's in this since Freedom Cut? Just to why we wondered. A bloody tag is having none of it. It got a DDT and a phone text. Tank's going to pull out. What is the mysterious content, Steven? What is it? Tank is going to whip it out. He is going into that blue bag that he's been carting around with him for as long as we can remember. What's he doing here? What, what is this? He's taking his sweet trunk and his thing on a rebel. 
Larry, it must be pretty important. He's been hanging on to it like it's a baby. Oh no, what is it? Reason's going into the black. He's going into the... Well, that's not a foreign object! That's a murder weapon! It's a sickle! It's a damn sickle! And none of them Nikita the call for Randy either! Oh, God! This guy's a killer! He's a killer! Can we just, can we just stand up and revere Massachusetts all of a sudden? Unbelievable! Trash is taking that sickle and carving up the forehead. Making the Cole Brown Simpson look like an episode of the Powerpuff Girl. Oh my God. Oh. That thing as sharp as a dickens. This might be the most violent display we have ever seen here at NWA Wildside. Can we trace that damn thing back to the Manson family? the Manson family ever performed here at the NTW Arena. I'm happy to report. They're channeling their spirits in paint. I think you may be right. Oh, and he licked the blood. This guy's a cannibalistic monster. Referee Andrew Thomas may not be in any shape to make any pin attempt because he might be first. He's throwing up. Andrew Thomas is... He's, look, he's drooling. I mean, if I remember... What do you expect with Pink? This guy broke out of a mental institution to get in a wild shot. In many ways, the NCW arena tonight is a mental institution. Like trash. What that pizza tray. For the rain Oh, and the blood smeared on that white tray. The violence, the tax, the stop sign. And now we see the sickle that's inside that blue bag. Oh, God. What the hell is he doing? This guy's insane! This guy's insane! Elbow drop to the floor. Tank needs to watch some of those old Mick Foley tapes. That's all I can suggest. Tank. Oh, my goodness. Read the book. You'll know that it, it, that kind of crap crippled you. Yeah, no kidding. In the ring. It's what's left of white trash. And what's left could not be a more apt description, Stephen. The blood's so thick on his shirt, it's freaking black. White trash getting his hands up, stopping some of the, uh, the punishment from that chair. Oh, this is not pretty. Not pretty. Oh, my goodness. Huh. I don't suppose we'll be seeing any little homicides. Maybe that's a good thing. I hope we're not throwing any, any little tanks around. I think one is plenty. He's cutting him here to here! Good God! The crowd firmly behind Project Mayhem. And there's that bottle cap bat. Oh my god, that's good. It's a bottle cap bat. That's, that's a actually, new level. I think it might even be more dangerous than the barbed wire bat. Uh, just because the, the, the points are all over. Every competitor in this ring has got thumbtacks all over their body. This is a horror show. I can only begin to describe it. I couldn't think of a better evening to call Fright Night. Capped off with a match like this. Oh, now Trace getting a taste of his own medicine. Violence personified. Did you hear the hideous scream in the crowd? This is human annihilation. It's genocide. And Trace is getting his fingers mashed. Two shot to the back of Tank. I know why Trash and Tank are pretty durable guys. Two durable mofos without a doubt. But I don't think that can take too much more of this. 
I mean, violence is blackouts life. It's been their life since they were 10 years old on the streets. In many ways, it's something that they see all the time. <laughs> oh, back bloody drop. Going to the bottle cap and for a wire baseball bat. <laughs> and Trash is screaming in a horror. has hold him in no uncertain terms hell no things are about to get even uglier now oh my good god oh that's so barbaric i don't know how either team is going to be able to walk out of this steven i don't know how either team is going to be able to walk out Oh, they're not. Whoever the Wild Side Tag Team Champions will be, whether it's Blackout, whether it's Project Mayhem, they will not be able to function normally for weeks after this match, that's for sure. Shooting two from the Barbar Baseball Bat. And Trash has got his very best friend. That's the El Caban stop sign. Homicide out of the ring, he didn't want any of it. Ah, uh, gee, can you blame him? Crash is going to the outside, Homicide out, cool. Crash is begging Homicide to get to his feet, take it away, man, bro. Lufez got to start quite this way. Twitch and Homicide are out. They're incapacitated. Twitch has lost far too much blood. But Tank is in the ring. Look at this ring. This looks like Hanoi. It looks like Beirut. It looks like Asbury Park. <laughs> the chair being rammed into the side of the head. Of Rain Man. Oh, oh, these guys are insane. These guys are insane. They've lost it. All they know is violence. No, it's not pro wrestling. Ain't nothing about this that is pro wrestling. Oh my. A big kick to the head of Rain Man. Homicide going to town with that pizza tray. I'll never eat pizza again. What a minute, takes it away. Hey, good. Bomb. We have new Wild Side Tag Team Champions. Wonder of wonders. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match, the new Wild Side Tag Team Champions, Project Mayhem. NWA Tag Team Champion is Project Mayhem, White Trash and Tank, bloodied and wounded, and White Trash at one time damn near death. White Trash has never wanted to be a superstar in pro wrestling. He was very happy doing what he does and being the mascot of Wild Shot. But he teamed up with Tank, and a fire was lit within it that the ultimate underdog could one day become a champion, and Tank and Trash are realizing their dream. White Trash is no longer an underdog. Tank is certainly no underdog. Together, Project Mayhem, they have reached to the pinnacle of their sport here in Wildside. Project Mayhem are the new NWA Wildside Tag Team Champions. But then, at one cost. Blood loss is one cost. That's a long list. What a sight that is. White Trash and Tank with the Wildside Tag Team title belt. A more violent display you will never see 
in a wrestling ring. I would hope that no one would ever see. I sure I hope I never see another one of those. But the wild side strong here at the NCW Arena in Cornelia, Georgia, have witnessed quite a spectacle as we have, Dan. It was a horror show. Grotesque, disgusting. And even though the amount of blood loss and damage done to the body of White Trash, I get the impression he had a pretty good time, you know? That's just the way he is. I would say Tank did, but I can't get any words out of Tank. with his new champions. Probably the most unlikely tag team champion. Well, because been. of their style, I mean, when you live a hardcore lifestyle, you're always an underdog. Especially in a world where wrestling is president. But Tank and Trash found the opportunity. They found what it was going to take, and it was this four quarters of the pain match, to showcase their abilities and to showcase the fact that they could hold gold. They pulled it off under some incredible odds. Some odds that would pretty much would destroy any other tag team in the business. And yes, it took a far flyer baseball bat. Yes, it took a baseball bat coated in bottle caps. Yes, it took a bad pull, a thumbtack. It took a stop sign. It took a sickle. You'll be happy to hear that. Or did you learn how to fight in this case? The tag team champions, are, or the former tag team champions, should I say, are none too happy. No, not to mention White Trash with that earlier, uh, oh, good Lord, White Trash flying through the air onto the pro body of Kevin Harden. Bravo, and he didn't die. Mood sold by White Trash. He'll never do it again. And Trash is already busted open. Oh no, there's Jeff Bailey. You know what to do, Iceberg. This son of a bitch, this fat, sloppy piece of garbage has been an embarrassment to my company for far too long. You smell up my dressing room every week, and now you're gonna pay for it. You see, destroying people is a supreme pleasure, and it is my hobby, because people are like maggots, brainless, worthless fish bait. And tonight, we are gonna feed you to the fishes, because you are garbage. Iceberg, you know what to do. White trash leg, oh now. my God. Oh my God, look at the blood run red. I wanna see more. Slice him open. Carve him up like a Christmas turkey iceberg. Merry Christmas, you piece of trash. Tonight, you are gonna drown in blood. And this is a message to every single person in this dressing room. Iceberg, the atrocity exhibit, is the monster. He, violence, is a banquet on which he feeds from. And tonight, he's gonna feed on the blood of white trash. It's Tank! Tank coming out! With that sickle, Tank was obviously been taken out by Bailey and his minions. Oh, my ribs. Oh, my ribs. Holy 
gonna get you, Berg. I'm gonna get you, Berg. And Brown, and Bailey, and anyone the hell else that was involved with that. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Don't worry. Trash was 21. Yeah, Iceworks coming over here. Huh. Jeff Bailey setting up a ta a metal table, no less, at ringside. What the hell? This looks grim. What the hell is this? Bailey's putting that body board on that table. Whoa! White Trash just busted that two by four open. And this capacity crowd staring in an odd silence of Iceberg. He's indestructible. He is absolutely indestructible. And why Trash? I don't know if Trash was coming. Trash is already busted open in his mouth. Oh my goodness. Oh what? Oh dear God! Oh no! Good Lord, this is gonna be Richter scale stuff, Dan. Sweet Mary, Mother of Jehovah. Well, they should make tables pretty well these days. That table didn't break, which is bad news for white trash. Yeah, because he did. A lifetime of violence has led to the no half-stepping movement that permeates every level of society today and is always on the hunt for more renegades. Wait a minute. I think I hear some of them now. Mine's worse. You want to see the scar? Oh. Three tables at a time, two tables, bar 
I've been to five church burnings and an all night blood orgy and I never seen anybody as crazy as crazy Charlie. So we appreciate him letting us take over this show on the 666th episode of Renegades of Puck. Follow me on Twitter at Rev Dan Wilson for my pro wrestling exploits and at OG Scare to hear me talk about horror movies at the Seeking Human Victims podcast and occasionally make one myself. When the jack-o'-lantern light dies and all the leaves have blown away, you better be no half-stepping all goddamn day.